So now that you watched the first part of our video, you probably think you really do know everything there is to know about SpongeBob. Well, think again! That's right. Here are six more hidden Easter eggs in SpongeBob SquarePants. Number six, Didgeridoo Detective. Welcome to Scorch Coral. Please go away. Oh, hey, Pearl. What are you doing here? I would like to apply for a job, please. Yeah, sorry. You're a little late. We were hiring, but we actually just hired someone today. Did you catch it? We've seen this didgeridoo player before. Yep, he's the very same didgeridoo player who was seen playing the didgeridoo in the episode Something Smells. Hi, didgeridoo player. Is didgeridoo starting to sound weird to anyone else? Number five, Health Inspector uh, Heidi. You looking for a job, Gary? Yeah, I need one as soon as possible. It's a life or death situation, actually. Oh my goodness, are you in danger? In danger of never seeing my friends because I don't have a job. Come with me. <gasps> Weird. How about this guy? Does it remind you of a certain health inspector? If so, that's because he's the very same health inspector that Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob gave the nasty patty. Hello, delicious. The one that, well, you know. That patty killed him! Glad he seems to be doing better now. Number four, Creepy Carl. I need to work at Dangles and Bangles. This is my last chance. You gotta help me out here. Oh, please, 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 please! Come on, let me introduce you to the manager. Okay, this is the last one from the episode Mall Girl Pearl. At least for today. Oh, Nixie, I need to work at Dangles and Bangles. You remember Carl? From the episode Selling Out. Remember, he's the new manager who helped transform the Krusty Krab into Krabby O' Monday. Hey, Carl, I'll be your new manager. New manager? He always had that creepy smile. What's going on over here? Oh, hey, Carl. Uh, I was just reminding Eugene of uh, Article 24, Section 3 of the Employee Handbook. Cut the chatter and pick up a platter. Good job, Squidward. No? Well, maybe it's for the best. The less you know, Eugene, the better. Number three, Framed Flipper. I'll have to go into the Witness Protection Program. I'll have to quit working at the Krusty Krab. I'll never flip a succulent Krabby Patty ever again. Oh, what have I done? Hmm? What's this? Hey, yo, Spongeo. We were in your neck of the woods and decided to pick up your beloved pet Gary. If you want to see him, you better hightail your porous caboose over to the showdown. Sincerely, Sharkface and the other sharks. Gary! No! I have to say, Gary, I have to go to the showdown. I have to get ready to fight. This one has a couple of Easter eggs, like the fake mustache that the Tattletale Strangler wore in SpongeBob Meets the Strangler. Well, uh, the maniac could be anywhere, wearing a disguise. Or the unicycle SpongeBob rides in Boating School. I'm ready, 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 ready. Well, pal, I won't be needing you anymore. But the big one is this spatula. Yep, that's the same spatula that SpongeBob uses to feed countless anchovies in the very first episode of the show. Would you believe they only had one in stock? To the kitchen! Number two, Plankton Splatter. Here, Plankton. Mr. Krabs wants you to have this. Here, <laughs> finally! <laughs> no! I have had enough! Only 90s kids will get this one. When Plankton is flattened like a bug, his shape might look oddly familiar. That's because it's very similar to the shape of the original Nickelodeon logo. That can't be by accident, right? Number one, the living room. Again. What do we do now, Gary? We've read every book and played every game. Hey, I know. How about another makeover? I know, I know. You already saw this one. But this is actually the same living room from a different episode. And it's packed with Easter eggs. So, here we go. First off, it's the famous soda drinking hat which belonged to Smitty Werben Jaeger Man Jensen himself. 
Wow! Look at this neato soda drinking hat! <gasps> it must have belonged to someone who was number one! And up here is a fish hook. Uh, did SpongeBob keep that as a souvenir from the episode Hooky? Mr. Krabs said I shouldn't get near those things. Did he say you shouldn't climb on top of them and ride them like a horsey? Well, no. Whee! I guess he didn't! <laughs> <laughs> Over on this side is the famous glove balloon. You know, the one that saved SpongeBob from rock bottom. Balloon! Has! Enough! Air! Thanks! Hey! I get it! Balloon travel! Thank you! You're welcome! Just below that is the magic conch shell from the episode Club SpongeBob. And besides, we have this! What's that? Oh, the magic conch shell! Ask it something, ask it something! Magic conch shell? Will I ever get married? Maybe someday. <laughs> and remember last time when we found all three letters from the fun song? Do you remember what U is for? F is for frolic through all the flowers. U is for ukulele. That's right, ukulele. Well, that's all for today. Think we can find even more SpongeBob Easter eggs? Tune in next time to find out. <laughs> <laughs>